From here on, we follow a more conventional cruising pattern, with this map showing the route covered by this video. Upon leaving Pruth Bay on Calvert Island, we cross Fitzhugh Sound to spend one night in Schooner Retreat on Fury Island. The mist lies thick as we head out for the 30-mile crossing of Queen Charlotte Sound. This is one of only two exposed sections of the inside passage where the seas can be treacherous. Captain Vancouver's ships ran aground here in August 1792 and were lucky to escape. But we have favorable weather with only thick mist concealing Vancouver Island. We tie up at North Island Marina in Port McNeil, which is accessible by air and offers excellent services. Johnston Strait is the main north-south passage for travelers of every description, including this wonderful dolphin escort. We branch off Johnson Strait into small inlet on Quadra Island. The presence of kelp indicates shallow water. We awake the following morning to find ourselves surrounded by a world of white. Our route takes us around Quadra Island through a maze of islands draped in skeins of mist. We enter Wyatt Bay through a narrow channel. This popular anchorage is large enough to accommodate many boats without overcrowding. As a seagull flies, we drop anchor only a short distance from where we were last night. Our crew set off on an expedition to hike across the isthmus, dividing the two bodies of water. Later, Christine takes the kayak and spots some colorful sea stars whose numbers have been in decline in recent years. 
We spend a couple of days exploring the bay and the adjacent octopus islands. We depart Wyatt Bay through its second narrow entrance. We follow Okisolo Channel to Surge Narrows, where timing is all important. Currents can be very powerful at all times other than slack water. We re-enter open water at the Strait of Georgia between Vancouver Island and the mainland. This can often be unpleasantly rough, especially with wind against tide. Normally, we run straight south to the town of Nanaimo, but we decide to take a look at the Lasketi Islands in the center of the strait, where we anchor under a painted sky. The following day, we continue south to popular Montague Harbor on Galliano Island, passing many log-strewn beaches along the way. This busy anchorage is frequently accessed by float plane. This is our last anchorage on our summer cruise before returning to our starting point, so we use the opportunity for a group photo. Today is the final morning of this phase of our journey. We have only a few miles to go to reach our starting point at Delta Marine. Located at Westport Marina, Delta is a busy commercial shipyard and is Fleming Yachts Service and Commissioning Center for the Pacific Northwest. Floating sheds allow work to continue throughout the winter months.
Venture is now peacefully moored at the same dock she left 72 days and 2,800 nautical miles ago. The yard and marina are a hive of activity. The marina travel lift is in constant use and this is a good opportunity to see it in action. After the frenetic activity has closed for the day, this becomes a surprisingly peaceful spot. From here, our crews will take on a busy social schedule and portray a different aspect of cruising life. 